All right, guys, so check it out. Today we are going to be doing a speed endurance training protocol for the bag. Now with this protocol, we wanna make sure that we have something a little bit smaller, not a heavy bag, but more so like a speed bag. Right here, I have a teardrop bag. Aqua bag has been uh, gracious enough to give me a bag. So I'm gonna go ahead and utilize it today. But you can use a double end bag. You can use something that is more for speed when you're talking about your punches. So we wanna make sure that we're producing a lot of volume with these punches in between these intervals. So what we're gonna do is a 15 second on as fast and as many volume punches as possible. So we're gonna be tapping it more so than throwing bombs, right? We wanna make sure that we're being fast, we're being elusive. Again, think punches and bunches on this 15 seconds. Now, 45 seconds, you're gonna go ahead and just move around, throw some shots at the bag, more for precision, more for movement and flow. And then you're gonna go again, 15 seconds, hard, fast, fast punches, as many punches as possible within those 15 seconds. Make sure you mix it up, uppercuts, hooks, one twos, things of that nature. And then from there, you got 45 seconds to move around the bag, work on feints, and then work on just different punches, but placing them accordingly, making sure you're efficient and you're technically sound. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna do three total reps. We're gonna do six total sets. So again, three reps is one minute each, six sets. So you got six rounds of three minutes. All right, let's get into it. All right, guys, that's one round down, right? Again, trying to be as fast as I can, a lot of reps. If I can't go punches and bunches, again, you still want speed on the punch. So more of a rapid fire, um, snapping the punch out there if it's a jab or an overhand or something like that or a cross. Um, but then again, you wanna make sure, again, that you're getting as much volume in with those 15 seconds. With the 45 seconds off or active rest, just move around, pick your shots, trying to just work on feints, head movement, and then also placing the shots accordingly. It doesn't have to be a large amount of volume from a punching perspective, but you still wanna stay moving. So one round down, uh, five more to go. Let's get it.
All right, guys, so in between rounds, I'm gonna try to work on that diaphragmatic breathing. I'm sitting in a good neutral position. I'm not overextended or overflexed. I'm making sure my thorax and my pelvis are aligned, breathing 360 degrees through the diaphragm. I wanna get as much air in as possible, and I wanna blow out as much CO2 as possible. So I'm gonna take deep inhales, deep exhales. I wanna make sure that I'm maintaining posture, again, like I said, but also as I blow out, I'm trying to calm my body down because that is a passive movement as I breathe out or as I blow out. Um, exhalation to get all that CO2 out. So again, I'm going to go ahead and do this for about a minute. Again, if you want to learn more about this stuff, I had a podcast with Brian McKenzie and a podcast with Evan Pycon. We both talked about breathing mechanics and respiration limited uh, individuals. So again, check out that podcast over on my Drew Strong podcast channel. And uh, I'm going to get back into this work. <laughs> So that's a wrap. All right, we got six total sets of so six rounds, uh, three reps each, which is 15 on, 45 off. 45 being active, moving around, making sure you're efficient, making sure you're technical, trying to place your shots. Even when you basically desaturate the muscle as much as possible with those long volume work efforts in 15 second intervals. So make sure that you're producing as much volume as possible within those 15 seconds. Make sure they're explosive. Um, if you start to see your speed go down, uh, shorten up the combinations. Make sure that you're not doing you know, too many to where the overall velocity starts to slow down. So you see some in the video, some of the rounds that I was uh, able to throw a lot more volume within or a lot more combinations, a lot more volume in those combinations. Um, but when I started to fatigue and die out and the, and the velocity started to go down, then I started to do two, maybe three punch combinations instead of six or eight or whatever. Um, but the goal, again, was to make sure that velocity is high, make sure the vol volume is where it needs to be within those 15 seconds. So this is something that you can do in your boxing training or in your MMA training. Um, if you're looking to work on the back and get some conditioning out of it, more sports specific, this is something that you would wanna do closer to a fight, uh, usually around eight to six weeks out. You can start implementing this um, beforehand. Again, this is more repeated efforts. This is more speed, endurance. We want to make sure that we're maintaining that velocity for a long duration for the fight itself. Really good for amateurs too as well because volume is, is key when you're trying to win a, a, an amateur fight, especially in boxing. Um, so go ahead, check it out. Also, if you want to learn more about these methods and protocols, you can check out my mentorship program or coaching course. The link is in the description down below and I'll see you in there. Also, if you haven't done so, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit the notification so you know when my videos come out. See you again next time. Peace.